Today I'm going to talk with you about solar power systems and EMF. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Lately, here at SYB we've been getting a lot of questions about the EMF emissions and health risks of solar power systems. To be absolutely clear, I am a strong supporter of green energy. It's obviously vital for humanity to reduce our use of greenhouse gas generating fossil fuels and to invest in cleaner and greener energy sources. Harnessing the power of the sun, wind, water, and other renewable resources is a vital action the world must take to address greenhouse pollution and climate change. But I'm also a strong supporter of minimizing EMF in your environment. And to do that, you need to understand the sources of EMF and what you can do about them. People often discuss these green technologies in terms that imply they have no negative externalities, that they do not pollute. And that's just not true, especially when you factor in EMF emissions. So let's dive in and learn why. You've probably heard the terms AC and DC before. These are acronyms for the two different ways that electricity flows. DC is direct current, which means the electricity flows in only one direction. Then there is AC, or alternating current, which means the motion of the electrons constantly changes direction. In most homes, electricity is delivered via alternating current, or AC. But solar power systems generate DC electricity. In order to convert DC power to AC power, you need an inverter. The process of this conversion creates what we call dirty electricity. Dirty electricity is one form of EMF that can cause a host of symptoms for many people. Symptoms including behavioral issues, chronic fatigue, blood sugar imbalances, fertility challenges, mood issues, cognitive issues, and a whole lot more. Unfortunately, there's no way to know how much dirty electricity your inverter will generate. There are too many variables involved to predict that. So if you already have solar power installed, you can and should test with different meters to find out what's going on in the telescope. Let's look at some oscilloscope readings so you can see what dirty electricity looks like. Here's an oscilloscope with a really nice and clean sine wave. Look specifically at the yellow line. It's thin and smooth. This home has very little dirty electricity according to this reading, and this is ideal. Now here's a reading from a home with a solar power system. You can clearly see that there's a significant amount of dirty electricity in 